Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> That's awesome. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Modded Series. We've got some so huge updates impressed. as well as... Uh, uh, okay. We last left this off and I know for a while this series we were just like trying to do, you know, the challenge. We've had amazing breakthroughs um, in the mods actually. Luckily, oh, who should I pick? Ooh, who should I pick? Jeff again. Always the Jeff. Oh, he's great, oh, isn't he? Ring. What a lovely chap. Is. So, uh, I want to keep going with this series because um, at the very start, I mentioned about we would have problems and not being able to showcase all the dinosaurs because in Jurassic Challenge mode, you can only have so many dig sites and so many dinosaurs. But while I've been recording this series, now whether it was coincidence or not, I'm, either way, I'm happy. Uh, there was a mod that came out that now allows every dinosaur. Every dinosaur. You can get every dinosaur in Jurassic Challenge mode. And what's that? Maybe some researchers that you can only get in uh, the Jurassic world? Nah, you can get them all now. Get them all. All dinosaurs, get them all. They're all there. So this is going to be our modded series. I'm so happy. I was a bit worried. I was like, okay, well, we've got a few more dinosaurs we can do, but then am I going to have to restart? Um, and what's really good about this is now that I can, I can focus on making this a more, I don't know, like um, a nicer park rather than thinking, well, I'm just going to abandon it soon. And we can keep on going. We can try and max out all of the other things we've got to do. We can think about more of the exhibits as well. Uh, there's new, uh, like, Hararosaurus, I think, was one we were going for, because I know that one definitely has... Uh, oh, wow, okay. Definitely has something that I need from it. Uh, it's definitely got a mod. Uh, there's loads of other dinosaurs, though, that I'm so glad we can now see. So, now that we have lots of researchers, what do we want? What do I know has... Sukamima's Might. Now, I'm not sure, actually. I did download a few mods. Uh, Kendrasaur Might. Yeah, Giga... I think Giga might as well. And these are just the dinosaurs that you unlock. Everything else is there. And not only that, but that means that we can have multiple T-Rexes because we've unlocked these other um, genomes for the dinosaurs, like the cross species. So now we can have a T-Rex that gets along with like three other T-Rexes. Ah, oh, God, the possibilities around us. I'm so glad that this mod was uh, came out while I was recording this series. I mean, whether it was happy coincidence or not, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Diplodocus! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God, that's got a good one. Oh, I want to see Diplodocus. Is there other ones that have Diplodocus? Yeah, that's Diplodocus. Okay. But how do we get more dig teams and stuff? Uh, oh, Ellie Sattler. And what about research team? Ah, John Hammond. Ooh, okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to go for Ellie Sadler. And you know what it is? I know people are getting stressed seeing <laughs> normal people how they play. How Beavers plays. Puts one <laughs> freaking hatchery into an enclosure with herbivores and proceeds to make everything there. I know, okay. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna do this one. So we need to... Oh, God, that's electric fence. We don't need electric fence. There you go, a little, little holding pen. That should do us. Oh, and that also means that we can get the big... Uh, ooh, that'll be interesting. Because with this game, you can't... I mean, the way the aesthetics are, that's the old style. But if we go into research... I don't know if we've, we've researched that yet, but if we go into uh, building upgrades, there should be a big substation in one of these. Uh, maybe you can't actually... Yeah, buildings. Hmm, maybe you can't actually do that. But we can get drivable park tours. Ooh, let's go for that one. Are the Dilophosaurus is enjoying the logs. <gasps> Did you get it? Because, like, Dilophosaurus and the log, that was the thing. And now they're both in the same enclosure. Dilopho 2, look at that head. <gasps> Looks gorgeous. Multiple fossils have been found. Eggs. Eggs. Oh, there's Diplodocus. Now, I would love... Ooh, what are you doing? That was a weird animation. Do you normally do that? Yeah. We could, if we wanted to, get rid of um, his hood, the uh, frill, if we wanted to. But I'm okay with that. The spino should look a bit different. Yeah. Oh my god! What happened to the spino? <laughs> it's contracted some kind of disease. Oh no! Don't look at it! Oh, I know what's happened here. I know what's happened. Okay. 
so bear with me. I haven't just completely burnt my spine. So this is what it looked like after that scene in Jurassic Park 3 when it ran through the flames. It just got horrendously burnt. You see, it looks kind of... See, it looks normal there. That's the way it should look. But when the game loads in the high texture file, look, that's as close as we can get without it looking a bit weird. And the reason for that is the bump maps. So its skin looks completely fine. But because its bump maps are still orientated to the old model, eh, when we get close, does that. And that's because the shadow comes up. But from far away, it looks okay. So there was a mod that came out not too long ago that gave the Spinosaur a, um, I'll put that there, there we go. Um, a, a more movie accurate skin. And I thought, I thought we could add that to uh, the Spinosaur that we've already gotten. However, that was a silly mistake. Very stupid. Uh, we'll keep that hatchery there, just because, why not? Um, and then let's have this. We'll add the hatchery. Um, and maybe we'll add a success ratio of 3.0. I don't think we can do 4.0 on this. There's still some limitations. So I want... Oh, Allosaurus as well. <gasps> oh my god, yes! I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Please tell me. The Dippy skin should be in here. The Diplodocus one. The one I'm wanting. Okay, so we've got a lot of... I'm going to do the rounds with some of these. Actually, we have new feeders. Uh, so we have a longevity for this one. So instead of um, going through and refeeding them quite often, we'll just place another one that costs 450000 We'll do the same with all the carnivores at the moment. So we've got our raptors as well. There was another mod for the raptors, but I still think this one looks the best. So... As time goes on, we are gonna make these mods even better. So dinosaurs will change, um, just to showcase like the new mods, which makes sense. My goal really is, oh, we're too close to a dinosaur apparently. Oh, we got, whoa, what's in low health? Um, oh, we got Triceratops in low health, probably because there's only one, wait. Wait, is that the health down? Oh, why is your health down? Uh, did you get hit? Did you hit each other? How can you hit? Oh, Diplodocus is kind of getting there. Um, do, we don't have that for the little feeder, though. Uh, hatchery insurance, which is pretty expensive. Oh. It's all expensive. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, Kokaridon. I know one of these changed to look way better. I think it might be the Acro. I think we'll research the Acro. And maybe the Giga. I think the Giga looks way better. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll jump straight into those guys. We still got dick teams going, uh, but we do need to... Oh, I didn't realize that we, we don't have that. So just the tall feeders and the small feeders, really. So I'm going to put... I'm going to put one there, and then we're going to put one there. That looks gorgeous. I love... I like that enclosure. It looks quite nice. Um, we've got the T-Rex. Now, I do want to put goats in, but I am a bit worried that the goat will escape and then the T-Rex will just be hungry. So, you know what? Because we're, let's go for it. Let's let's try and go for it. Let's go for it. Let's follow this goat. I just want to see what it does, because... I mean, the T-Rex can't get out, but... Oh, I love that! If only it made the goat sound effect from the movie, because they got the cage and everything. They went so all out. Okay, well, the goat's trotting over there. That's fine. Let's not add, let's add a feeder for the goat, shall we? The goat can eat. Whoa, I got some weird ones there. Was that because of the Allosaur? I think that was. I went for the Allosaur and it just gave me everything but... I'm gonna go for the plot, so we've got. I mean, we're getting there, aren't we? And the T-Rex, you look the same. Now, Sue, I may have to sell you. I'm sorry. We'll pretend that it's not sold, just like in normal zoos. Oh, yeah, he's been there for 500 years. <laughs> it's the same one. They don't die. Um, but I need something else. What do I need? I need the genetics. Oh, whoop, well, we're getting I John Hammond there. Oh, John, really? Oh, why? Money. So what do we got? Lowers the amount of grass on where we don't want that. I think it's this. No, raises the comfort threshold. Is it this one? Raises the minimum, maximum social requirements of a dinosaur. That's social population. Okay, so we want that. We want to get this. You do not have enough research teams. Damn, well, we're almost out. Wolf and the dolphin. That's what we're after. And then I would love to have an enclosure oh, with multiple T-Rexes, because I think we can get three T-Rexes getting on together. <laughs> um, I think. I think if we put that genome in. it's oh, it, The only problem is it's going to be really expensive. Super expensive. The guy does near. And the Serratos. Yes, you guys. You still look glorious. We'll fix the Spino, don't worry, we'll fix it, but not in this episode. I'm not gonna do it now. And if you are watching and you do enjoy the Planet Zoo series, it will come back. Trust me, I just, at the mo like, at the moment, I, I don't know why, 
but I don't feel like revisiting it. God damn it! Time to start this too! No! Ah, another old tip! I don't, the stress and the amount of work, I think that it goes into the enclosures, the amount of time, even though I really enjoyed it, at the moment, I'm, I'm not ready to revisit it. <laughs> all the flamingos, it was all the stress of the flamingos dying. Diplodocus and Diplodocus. So, the Diplodocus enclosure. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, sod it. We're just going to make enclosures everywhere. Okay, let's do this. We're going to make this a super long enclosure. Now, if I could do more with this game, like you can in Planet Zoo, I'd have a walkway kind of going over high. Words, beavers, use them. Yeah, and then yeah, that makes sense actually because now we've got that on the other side too. Boom! There you go! Now to get into this, we're gonna need some sort of access route. Mm, that'll do. Now to get rid of all the trees. And just see what kind of area we're working with. Right, it's a fairly longish area. Uh, don't really like this bit too much. Can we flatten it? And then smooth this out. There we go. That's better. That's better. That's even more intimidating because we've got like a bit of a steep hill here. Oh, that's cool. You sort of, you come out. Oh, hold on. Yes, what we'll do is we'll have this forested. So you come out and then no matter which side you're on, when the tour goes, boom, you got T-Rexes on the right. Oh, no, yeah, the goat can't get out. Bless it. Well, let's watch Sue make her first kill, shall we? Oh, yes. First proper kill. <laughs> She wants to hunt. Beautiful. Yum yums. Only thing I don't like where these cables are. No. No, the darkness. No. Oh, God. Tropical storm. Uh, this could be bad. Do I have electric fences for the raptors? I do. Okay. Everything's in good stead. I think the only ones that may attack the fences are the T-Rex and the Velociraptors. Everything else is good. We're all good here. Oh, and there it is. There's the storm warning. Uh, what do I need to research? I mean, I could research everything now. Um, all the different skins, Indominus Rex, um, the camouflage ability. If oh god, was that was that a? That wasn't a. Oh, it is. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's all right. Um, is it possible to get a jeep over there in time? Oh my god, we're all the way over here. We're gonna have to go around the outside. Okay, okay. Here's a mission. Here we go, we, we gotta get there before it destroys everything. And if we know it destroys something, it'll be at the top. Oh, we got a disease already? Come on! Oh, there it is. Okay, so that, I think, is the empty enclosure. That's good, that's good. I'm gonna take the long way around. Actually, no, there's no... Oh, wait, no, if it has broken in, that's fine. We can follow the, the path of destruction. Because we'll go through the broken gate, and then we'll fix it and go through. Okay, so it's, it's broken some sort of power thing. Whoop! I got this. I got this. I'm, I'm born for this. I've been through much worse. You think this is tough? You should have seen Jurassic difficulty. Okay, so there's a spino. Hello, spino. Oh, God. Don't go into the spino enclosure. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, where did it break through? Where did it break through? I don't see it yet. Aha! I see it. I see it. Uh, is that the... Is that the Ceratosaurus exhibit? It is. This oh, God. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, I can't get through because the lights. Well, um, we can fix this. Is there anything else that's broken? There's apparently loads of structural damage. Oh, God. It's going forward. It's going forward. Yeah, come on. Oh, no. That's the raptor, I think. That's the raptor. Uh, let's just quickly fix this. Just just go around. Click in, click in space bar. Eye of the storm. Here we go. Fix. Ah, oh, no. The sign. The plummet raptor sign. No dinosaur threat. We're all good here. Woohoo. Oh, we, did I do it? Did I do good? Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Um, so these guys are trying their best now to dart through this. Uh, oh, now there's dinosaur too close. They actually... They actually oh, no, did they do it? Did they get through? Oh, one of the lovasaurs got through. Uh, well, <laughs> that could be worse. Could be worse. T-Rex are bashing the fence. T-Rex is diseased and it's broken through. Okay, of course it has. Of course it's broken through. Uh, on the one hand, the dinosaurs are reacting oh, no. and fighting as evolution continues. Uh, who's going to win? Well, you know what? Those, they can fight. It's necessary. fine. I say were. Whoa! Because now they're completely removed from ah. the world where they competed for ah, that's, resources and survival. Ah, that's a bit different then. Um, now okay. Now they rely on us, <laughs> which means that we... 
chaos. We have the Dilophosaurus everywhere in the park. Nature. Jeez, it makes you wonder who the dinosaurs fight is really with. <gasps> oh, oh, who died? Is it a raptor? It's a Dilophosaurus. Yeah, Dilophosaurus never usually wins, so I'm surprised that it... I'm not surprised. Wait, we have a break in the fence here too? What? When did this happen? Oh. Oh, okay. We got a we got a the raptor here as well. Have a few ways to express themselves, <laughs> and rage is the one we should try to avoid. Yes, I know, Alan. It's looking for you. It's going around the island, going. Alan. That's where you put an Alan, James. Oh God, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, what is this? Is this Dip Diplo? Uh, okay, Dilophosaurus. Right, remove that guy. Um, now that we got Dilophosaurus there, yes, Dart the Raptor. Yes! Did, did you get him? Did you get him? Oh, I got him. Nice. Good, good, good. Get that raptor back in there. Ah, uh, that's why the Dilophosaurus were able to escape. This isn't an electric fence. Oh, there. See, that's no good. We need an electric fence with these guys. They're awful. Ooh, T-Rex is on 36%. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You know what? Right, okay. You're going to take too long. I think Sue might die by the time uh, you get to her. So, we are gonna shoot her. Oh, oh my god, can, am I able to get over the lights with a jump? Come on! Yep! Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, okay, maybe we can shoot from here. Oh, she's lying down to die now. There you go! Right, medication is not researched for her, but... We're, get, we're giving her a lot of health, so that's good. I didn't realize. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I just researched some things, though. It's salmonella, though, right? Oh, no. We got sick dinosaurs, too. This ain't so good. Woo! Okay, the raptor's being cured, and the T-Rex is now getting there. Oh, oh. I think, I think the Jeep just knocked the, uh, the Ford Explorer out of the way, and he's now crashed. <laughs> it's an emergency! Wait, we got another one? Well... Whoa, 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 please, please, we're trying to heal you. I'm trying to heal you. I don't even know which ones of you are sick. This is for your own good. You've passed it on to the other ones now. Oh, I got him there as well. Awesome. Is that it? Have we still got another one that's sick in here? The T-Rex has still got him. What is this Jeep doing? Look, that the other raptor, the, the, the Jeep and the raptor enclosed is basically, oh God, oh no, oh no. I don't know if she was charging towards. Oh, yep, yeah, that's the vehicle destroyed. There you go. I don't know where she is. Oh, there, there she is. She's right in front of me. I was going to say, but she's this way. There you go. Woohoo! No! Just these dinosaurs. And there is our destroy jeep. Fantastic. This is weird. Okay, so I've got a DNA screening ratio of 30%. So I've added that. So whatever I make in here has 30%, right? But it says viability plus 80%. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why it's plus 80%. Is it glitched out? Have they just went, ah, we'll, we'll give you an extra one. So now it should be 60%. And it says, oh, 160%. Oh, okay. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so I don't know how this has happened. Um, but now we can just basically make it the longest living thing in the world. So why don't we? I mean, it's going to increase its cost, but I don't want to make more. 243 viability, 15%, but... 160 extra percent. Let's go for what? Let's go for a couple of these. We'll go for... Mm, what should we go for? We'll go for two regulars. We'll go for a regular. And then we'll go for an arid pattern. There you go. All my money gone. But at least we'll be getting an Alan Grant mission. Look at that. It looks more screen accurate. But as soon as you get to it... Oh, he burns. So, we're going to need some... Uh, we're going to have to change this a little bit. Now, I wanted it long. I like it long. So we'll have a pool over here, drinky water, and we'll have a drinky water at the other end because if we're going to have Allosaurs and Diplodocus in the same enclosure, ooh, we're going to kind of need, uh, we're going to kind of need some, uh, some breakup because they'll get stressed and panicked and won't be able to eat. So we'll make it muddy round the water because there'll be a lot of wet dirt. Then we'll have it lovely and fresh in the middle. More dirt round here in this puddle. We'll also add some feeders as well. So we'll have the Allosaur feeder over here. So we have to come down there. And then the Diplodocus the feeder can be over here. And there you go. We got a lovely enclosure. Um, but can we add... Wait, what? Why can't I add signs? <gasps> 
Is that a glitch? I wish there was a way to cycle through the trees as well, instead of like clicking off and then clicking back on. Right, so what I also want to give this place is a little bit of believability. So if there are a lot of um, dinosaurs walking through here, they'll probably go from the feeder to the water there. And then probably just a little bit of a dirt track going through this way. And then there's just going to be a lot of thoroughfare here. There's just going to be a lot of dirt around this area. This green bit, maybe not so much. And then we'll also just try and blend in this track a little bit. We need to make sure that the allosaurs can get along together as well, because I want at least two allosaurs in this enclosure. Then they can just stare at the T-Rex and be like, we'll take you on. <laughs> and as soon as I've made this, I'm expecting that John Hammond uh, or the guests will go up. Driver to a vehicle. <laughs> get out of my way. Oh, I can go first person? <gasps> there's no- oh, there's nobody in here with me either! Yes! It's just me! I'm a lone woman. I go whatever I want. Let's go into this enclosure. Woohoo! How are you enjoying the tour, lads? Really good? It's awesome, isn't it? Well, that'll do. Uh, I need John Hammond, so let's get John Hammond. Yeah, contract done, and I'll be sure you Wait, a five-star achieve island rating of five stars. That's actually not too hard. Because it's mainly just the dinosaurs. Is it Welfer? Yeah, Welfer, which is minus 11. Wish it would tell you where that was. Unique species target. Oh, it does tell you, right, how many different species you need. Ooh. 71. There you go, minus two Welfer, so we've almost got five stars. Um, uh, however, I don't know if we will with this. Okay, let's see. Does this Diplodocus look like I want it to? Yeah. Oh, there you go, we did it. Oh, you got a new dinosaur? This, Bam! This is what we need more of around here. Keep up the good work. Ooh. Now, it doesn't look too different. Kind of because the original Diplodocus was looking meant to look like this one, really. And here it is, a walking with dinosaurs, Diplodocus. Oh, that's so good! Now, now you know why I'm trying to go for the uh, allosaurs. So we need to add a gate, because he's going to be like, Eh, I just had a gate there. Now you do. Be oh, wow, we are so far away. How much of the island do we have left? Not much. And we have a lot of species to get through. Okay. Ooh, we don't need Alan Grant, but I'll take Ian Malcolm. If John I'll Hammond's Malcolm. experiment has taught us anything, it's Ooh. that you can <laughs> always know more. Spoiling me. Contracts like this one Ooh, yes. provide that opportunity. Don't they, Jeff? Oh, it's just a regular feeder. Okay, we'll switch this one out for a better one. Come on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All the allosaurs. Nom, 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 nom. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, You've and we did it. made history. I have, I have, but I'll make even more history if I delete the shelter before you stop talking. Come on. Give me another one. Give me another Oh, no. Oh, decisions, Ed Ellie. Decisions. Damn it. Decisions. Yeah, it's always you, Jeff. It's always you. Oh, God. Was the... Was it sedated? He's still trying to tranquilize it. Are you having a hard time getting over here? Where are you? Why are you going through this? You could have just went around the outside. Hey, buddies. How you doing? Gorgeous girls. Right in the face. <laughs> oh, missed you. There you go. Bam. Just keep on sedating until you got a completely numb... Oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like a waste, but does it? Bam! Your face as well! Oh, oh, okay. Well, you could do that. You could psych me out. Wait, are you running? You are running. How can she run? Look at that. It looks so good. It looks exactly like it does in Walk with Dinosaurs. Even down to the anatomy. It's gorgeous. There you go. Okay, that's them all taken care of. Let's move them on now. Move them on now. So wait a minute. Now that we got like five stars, what would John Hammond say or do when we when he gets a mission? Is he just gonna keep on like maintain total guest count and have a total guest count? Ah, so if we get another John Hammond. Is it gonna be like another five stars? So if we keep on getting him, he's gonna keep on giving us the same ones. And like like Ian Malcolm, we're gonna get these super quick. Ooh, maybe we should try that. All right there, you go. All sedated, all taken care of. Right, what's Allosaur on now? 93%. It's almost there. Let's have a look if we can change the genome enough that, um... Oh, can we not do... Whoa, 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 what, what's... Whoa, why are they a threat? You're, you're okay. What's going on? What? There they go. 
Look at the pretties go. Oh, okay, Ceratosaurus battling each other there. That's fine. Okay, now we need to check to see how these Diplodocai, or Diplodocuses, Diplodocuses, those ones, how these guys get on in here. Now, the space should be big enough. Like, look at that. Look at all that space, and then they got all of this as well. And then, because this, I think, doesn't count as a fence, they've just got everything else ex outside the exhibit. So you could have a tiny exhibit, but because you've got the lights in there, the dinosaur will be okay. And in fact, that's something we should check out. So already, comfort's a little bit low because it's thirsty. Everything else is fine, however. So like we could have all tiny creatures. Freshwater is an essential part of keeping the dinosaurs healthy. Make sure they have it. But look at that tail bending. Whoa. Oh, they added the little zebra stripe as well to the back of it. Oh, that's great. Oh, look. Oh, Sue's coming over to have a look. What do you think, Sue? New neighbors. I'm going to sell you anyway. Actually, I don't think I can. I thought that I could have multiple allosaurs in the same exhibit. <laughs> uh, even though, you know, this, the modern communities came quite a far way, um, I think even when it comes to the enclosure here, and I go to incubate, and I go into the dinosaur, I don't think I can add it. There's no social bubble. There's no social bubble there. So even though I could research it, I actually can't add it to the dinosaur. Damn. Ah, well, we can make them the best ever and give them, like, the highest rating. Just give them all the genetic modifications. And not only that, um, the ones that we can add that were in here initially, we can just increase. What would be amazing to do is actually just have a little service road running through all the enclosures, like, down the middle. Only problem with that is we wouldn't be able to do that for Spinosaur because he's really bordering on, uh, well, being a burn victim, apparently, and also comfort. Hold on a minute. Up upgraded 160%. But, oh, because I've got one extra. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. I was like, wait a minute. I, I just deleted one. Do they stay? 3.8 million. This is like the most expensive dinosaur I think I've ever created. But there you have it. Ooh. So we got, oh my God. Look, look at all these dinosaurs we wouldn't have been able to make. But if you do the Jurassic World challenge, you can make them. These are even more than you can make in the Jurassic challenge, which is crazy. We need to get all the diseases. Ah, we have like what? no money. Ah, that's kind of a problem. Oh, wait, did something just die? Hey, what? now we've got what we need to get warnings of any approaching storms. That was nice work. Oh, no. Oh, is this one of the... How old was he? 59. It was 68. Wow, you did great. Oh, bless it. <gasps> Died so elegantly as well. This Allosaurus, though. Oh, it's going to be good. Right, I kind of made the Ceratosaurus enclosure uh, a little bit boring. So what I'm going to do is add loads of rock over here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, so they just moved the signs over to the scenery. Ah, okay, so... Ah, that's great! We haven't lost everything. Woohoo! Oh, is Allosaurus ready? <gasps> We're going to see Allosaurus! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, look at it! Oh, it looks so good! Although, I want to see it from the other angle. Oh, my God! That's the only Allosaurus I need. That, I, I don't care about any other Allosaurus. This is the one. Big Al, we'll have to call it. There you go. Just don't stub your toe, okay? Watch out for rocks. And, uh, well, you're, you're sedating Big Betty, are you? Wow. Well, gonna have to sedate Big Al now. <laughs> oh, it looks so good! I love it! The tiger of the Jurassic was a lion. If only it had the kind of sound effects that the uh, Walking with Dinosaur one has. And then, yes, that was my best impression of it. <laughs> Look at you! So good! I mean, is it paleontolo paleontologically accurate? Probably not, but uh, I don't care. I just like it. Also, I'm getting no missions anymore. I think it's the John Hammond. More giga. Oh, there it is. More Cabot, please. Here's a contract that provides advancement opportunities. Wait, what was you. it? Apply success ratio and to a hatchery. Dinosaurs as well. A win, there you win, go. Win. That was quick. Only a loser would that was the easiest money in the world. I'll happily take that. 
I don't even know how much. 125,000, and it cost okay, me 20,000. Congratulations! You Look did at it. you! Huzzah! <sighs> I know what I'm gonna call I mean, you. I could have completed that contract too, but Mr. Hammond needs me elsewhere. Important You're elsewhere. You little ball, yeah. Oh, it looks so good. That is different, right? That is the. It should be the one with dinosaurs, but I, I just know that they look so similar in this game. Our focus has to be on how we can help the dinosaurs. I hate you, Ellie. Why'd you do this to me? Why? Why, Mementosaurus? Why? Why, Metricandosaurus? Why? Oh, it's doing like an interrupted with the eye, like, I'm asleep, I swear. <laughs> I can't even remember what that, um. Oh, I haven't watched Fallen Kingdom in ages. Jeez. I should watch it again. I should. I've got, like, it on everything. Blu-ray, DVD. Not VHS, although... Oh, that looks so friggin' good. Oh, my God. Look at that beast. Ooh, love it. Right, what it, why did Ellie want Mementosaurus? Like, why? 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 Why, do? Why? Where even is it? It's a made-up dinosaur rally. It doesn't exist. Stop asking for it. These research teams on viruses and diseases are amazing. Why isn't cancer on there? They'd have it sorted in two seconds. I actually can't find my Mentosaurus. I don't, I don't know where it is. You know what? I'm just gonna... I've got plenty of money. I'm just gonna cancel our contract. Sorry, Ellie. It was 605,000, but my Mentosaurus would cost so much. So much. Ian Malcolm's like the only way I can get a, like get a rating up. Oh, look at him again. Look at him there! Giving me the easy option! Also, we have a Brachiosaurus sedate here. Completely forgot about that, poor bugger. Are you... Big Benny Bambalam? Oh, Big Benny Bambalam. Here comes Big Al Bambalam running in the wild. Oh, yes! Oh! Can we get a doodle -doo, doodle -doo? <laughs> That's awesome. Are you panicking yet? No, you're not. You're fine. Look at this! I was listening for screams this is so and roars, cool. but instead... I love it. I hear, what do I hear? Cheering. Well, that must be for you. Okay. And another one. Jeff, yes. Here's a notice okay, where, from me it? that there's a new contract that you can- Damn, yeah, we can't change the social just yet. That is a shame. I would love if the mod added that. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. I'm in love. Did somebody recreate this? Look at that, it's got like a scratch on its leg. On its thigh. It's way too good. If somebody has actually made this and spent ages on it, you did a fantastic job. Don't know what's going on with the green there. Unless that's what it was like on the actual CG model. Because it looks like you just took the skin from the Walking with Dinosaurs series and just plumped it straight on. It looks so freaking good. Man. Man. Oh, hold on. What's going on here? What's the holdup? Now, just to move on to getting every freaking single one of these. <gasps> Carnotaurus. Guys. Guys. You know you like Allosaurus? I think you like Carnotaurus. I think you like Carnotaurus. There's just so many. Oh, my God. Okay, but before we can do anything, I'm going to end it here. Just because, well, we got a huge pilot there. I don't know why that's happening. But, oh, I'm so excited. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.